Hello, my name is Allie and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Um, we are within Hakuoki, Hijikata's route. Um, and let's just get started. We were asked to help send the message with Yamazaki, I guess you can say. And let's just see how this goes. I took off after him, my legs working as hard as they could. Oh, warrior record has been released. Okay. Into the dark secret we ran. Secret street we ran. I discovered quickly that half a year, year indoors did little for my physique, and I was out of shape. After only a few blocks, I was gasping for breath. Oh. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Yamazaki, who was running ahead of me, suddenly stopped and looked sharply behind us. No matter what happens, follow this street. Don't look back. Don't tell me someone's behind us. You don't need to know that. Seems like Yamazaki's hunch was right. What should I tell Yamazaki? I'm going to say, Yamazaki, you should go. I'll stay behind. Yamazaki, please, you should go. Don't be a fool. What could you possibly do, do by staying behind? If I distract the enemies, then you could go in the meantime. If we'll need a lure, then it's going to be me. Run for it. Yamazaki wasn't looking to take no for an answer, so I nodded in good faith. I looked to what lay ahead of me. Oh. As I stepped into the next intersection, I saw a flash of metal from the corner of my eye. Keep going. I'll catch up in a moment. Just keep running until you see a white uniform. Right. We're running fast. I kept running. Running. <laughs> I pretended I didn't hear the sounds of swords ringing against one another behind me and ran. My knees felt weak and my legs shook, but I kept going. They'd have to collapse or tear themselves to pieces before I stop. Even so, I felt so slow. I wanted to cry out to scream at my body to go faster. Faster! Huh? A bright light suddenly cut through the darkness, and I placed my hand over my eyes from the glare. My heart stopped. Was it Choshu soldiers? I froze. Uh, what the hell are you doing? I was right, okay. I very nearly began to cry with relief. Hijikata was not dressed in the usual light blue jacket, but rather a bright white uniform, to be seen in dimly lit places. Instead, I simply collapsed as Harada reached out to grab me. Hey, you all right? If you left the headquarters without permission, Hijikata's gonna kill you. I grabbed hold of Harada's hand and pulled my body to its feet. To its feet. I think it's feet. <laughs> I wanted to tell him I had permission to leave and explain it was all right for me to be there, but I was so winded that I could barely speak. Besides... I wasn't sent to Hijikata to make excuses. I took a deep breath as my shuddered lungs could manage before speaking. The, they're, they're meeting in Ikeda. Suddenly, Hijikata's expression changed. Then they are at Ikeda. I nodded rapidly. Are you sure? Hijikata gestured toward me. Sanan lost his arm, not his brain. The kid didn't run away. The colonel sent us this message. I'm pretty impressed you found us. I didn't think you knew, knew Kyoto that well, kid. Y Yamazaki. I'd finally got some, some of my breath back, and I did my best to tell them what had happened. What about the Aizu and the commissioner's men? Are they on their way to Ikeda? I just shook my head. Hijikata thought for a moment, then spoke. Saito, Harada, you take, take our men to Ikeda. I need to go deal with something. Harada and Saito nodded curtly, and then turned to their business. Kyoto will be dangerous for you alone. Stay with us or go with Hichikata. I still lacked the breath to respond properly, and I, so I simply nodded. We both knew they couldn't leave me here, but whom should I accompany? We're going to do Hichikata because he's our man, isn't he? 
The prospect of being alone with him was rather frightening, but for reasons I still don't understand, I decided to go with Hijikata. Yeah, because you got a, you got a little bit of like a, a thump in your heart for him, which doesn't make any sense. Why the heck am I saying that? Let's just keep going. <laughs> we were quiet for a while. I felt like I should say something, but I wasn't sure what. Instead, I kept quiet. After a moment, he glanced down at me. Oh, ooh, butterflies. Sorry. <laughs> Good job with the message. I might have given it might have given us an advan the advantage we need. Oh, look at that smile. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> I never thought Hijikata of all people would praise me for anything. My heart fluttered momentarily in my chest. But did he mean by an advantage? What did he mean by an advantage? If the battle at the Ikeda Inn had begun, it didn't seem like we had much of an advantage at all. We stepped from the alley into the central avenue. Sounds like my son's giving my husband a hard time. <laughs> um, hey, Jakarta, why are we out here in the street? What kind of man tries to hide all the time? I blinked. Not sure what to make of that. Yamazaki appeared beside us without making a sound. Yamazaki, you're safe. He didn't seem to have been hurt at all, thank goodness. Yamazaki's eyes slid to me for a moment, then back at Hijikata. You're aware of the situation Ike at Ikeda, I assume. Colonel Sanan ordered me to notify the Aizu and the Jud Judiciary Commissioner, but... Yeah... I'll have new orders for you in a few minutes. Stick close for now. Understood. Your commander needs to go have a word with a bunch of useless bastards. Deep in his cold eyes, I saw a spark of anger. Ruh -roh. They appeared as the words came out of his mouth. Lines of government soldiers marching toward us. There were hundreds of them marching across the entire width of the street, several rows deep. Now I understand why Hijikata took us out into the street. We would never have seen the government force as we shimmied through the back alleys. That sounds a little funny. <laughs> there was something about their march, so slow and unconcerned, that lit the fires of anger in my eyes. The rest of the men are still fighting in the, at the inn. The Shinsengumi had a few soldiers able to fight, but they were risking their lives for Kyoto. Didn't these men have the same responsibility? Why weren't they rushing to help us at the inn? Perhaps my anger was more obvious than I, than I realized because Hijikata gave a snort of laughter. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. I'll make sure they don't screw us. He stepped forward into, a ver into the very middle of the street directly in front of the advancing soldiers. All he did was move a few feet and turn to face them, but he held such authority in his movement. He could have easily been at the head of an army. He's so pretty. The, Shin the Shinsengumi are currently conducting an official investigation at the Ikeda Inn. You will not interfere. You will not enter the Ikeda Inn. Even I could see that the government men were going to protest Hijikata's pro proclamation when Yamazaki leaned and over to whisper in my ear. My God, I can't. why was that sentence so hard to read? If we let these men walk into the inn, then they'll take credit for subduing the Choshu treat or threat, not treat. I don't know. What? How could they? After all the Shinsengumi had done, it just didn't seem fair. But it's the men of Shinsengumi who are risking their lives. Then you see how, see now how little respect they have for the Shinsengumi. The commander is single-handedly protecting the Shinsengumi right now. If we allow them to step into the Ikeda Inn, they will spread tales of their false heroism. All that we may do here tonight will be in vain if we allow them to front the raid. That is why the commander is trying to prevent the Aizo domain from intruding. Yamazaki held Hijikata in such high regard. So when Hijikata said 
we have an advantage. This is what he was referring to. But, but we must. You really think you can fit all these men in there? The best you'll be able to do is surround it. Unless you really want to send them in there to die. There's a fight going on. If you value the lives of your men, I suggest you stay put. <laughs> he took out his tone, as much as his words, left no room for argument. Until the battle ended, he stood his ground, and not a single man challenged him. It tells you how strong Hitikata is compared to everybody else. Oh. Finally, the sun rose from the black sky. The raid itself had lasted only two hours. But for me, at least, I had felt far longer. It had felt far longer. My God. Sorry, I feel like I, feel like I got a hiccup. I do that a lot. Like, I, I don't know if I've said it in one of these videos, but... Instead of burping, I hiccup. I know that sounds really weird. I cannot burp. I was able to when I was a child, but once I, probably around high school age, I just couldn't. So, fun, right? <laughs> Not. There had been 20 imperial, imperial nationalists at the Ikeda Inn. The Shinsengumi had killed seven Ronin and injured four more. I learned later that, with the help of the Aizu Domain and the Kyoto Judiciary, yay, I got it, Commissioner, they arrested 23 people. Oops, why did it do that? The owner of the Ikeda Inn had also been arrested for trying to help the Choshu rebels escape. The Shinsengumi had won an incredible victory, fighting against superior, superior numbers in enemy territory, but they paid dearly for it. Okita had taken a blow to the chest and lost consciousness. Oh no! Heisuke, Heisuke had been cut on the forehead, and the bleeding refused to stop. Well, the head is the worst area, is one of the worst area, one of the most sensitive areas where it bleeds the most. Nakagira, Nakakira, Nagakira, oh my god, had injured his left hand. One of the Shinsengumi soldiers lost his life in the inn, its rear entrance and two others were severely injured there as well. well I'm glad I didn't go there. <laughs> it didn't seem likely that they would survive. The Kyoto military and judiciary com commissioners also fought the Choshu Ronin. With their successful resolution of the Battle of the Kata Inn, the Shinsengumi had, at last, made a name for themselves. Oops, let me look up the few things we found. So there's the Battle of the Kata Inn, the incident where Shinsengumi troops raided the Ikeda Inn to halt a plot to kidnap the emperor and burn the city of Kyoto. And then we've got... Here we are. Oh my god. For some reason, one under the other kind of just caught me off guard. Okay, so it's going to be... I think it's this one. Uh, Kyoto military commissioner... No, this is not it. The person holding the... The office was asked to be keeping, uh, with keeping the peace in the city of Kyoto. I was occupied at the point at one point of Katamari Matsudaira. I think I already read that. No, okay, maybe not. I think it was this one I was supposed to read. Yeah, I already read that one. Okay, anyway, I'm just going to let you guys go here due to the fact that... Yeah, I'm just going to let you guys go here. Hope you are enjoying, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!